In this training, we're gonna look at Facebook pages and we're gonna get a better understanding of how they can help your local business. We wanna leverage Facebook and everything that's offered so that we can get more customers in the front door to your business. So let's get started. Online and digital marketing. We know that the trend of online and digital marketing just continues to grow and grow and grow. And this type of online marketing is so much cheaper and easier to implement that it's a really good way to reach a real wide audience for such an inexpensive and easy way to do things, right? One of the most significant benefits of this is it allows a small business to really compete with a large organization. The most valuable advertising platform. Well, Facebook is one of the most valuable advertising platform because they offer what are called Facebook business pages. Now, setting up a business page allows you to build a closer relationship with your customer, and it gives your company access to advertise within the world's largest social network. And that's what we want your local business to do, to be able to have access to the world for whatever product and service that you offer. So what exactly is a Facebook business page? Well, a business page is a Facebook page developed to specifically suit the needs of your business or your organization. So it allows you to post photographs, contact details, information, and any updates about your products and services. Facebook users that choose to become fans of your page can interact with it by adding their own comments and using the like function. So it's very cool, very interactive, something that your business definitely should implement. So what are the benefits of using a business page? Well, one of the main benefits is that unlike a personal profile on Facebook, your business page, uh, the, the fans are no longer capped at 5,000. So Facebook users that wish to become fans are automatically accepted. So you can have hundreds of thousands, even millions of fans. Now, a person does not have to be a fan or even a Facebook user to view your page. So they can come across your Facebook page in the search engines or through a link and not be a user or a fan of Facebook, and they will still have access to that page. Now, certain personal functions, such as private messaging, are disabled. Okay, so that's a really good benefit. You don't want a bunch of personal private messaging coming to your Facebook page. And you can view a more limited selection of information about an individual fan. So what we want to talk about is developing a Facebook business page strategy. So when you establish your social media page, it's important to develop a management strategy. You don't want to just every day just post whatever you want. You, you really want to strategize exactly what you're going to be doing to help your local business. And by doing this, it ensures that you can expand your fan base as far as possible and as fast as possible while seeing this expansion translate directly into improvements in earnings, because that's what our goal is. We want a Facebook business page to bring your business more money. So let's talk about a few aspects of a social strategy that you should include. First of all, product promotion. Product promotion is a key feature of every good Facebook mar marketing strategy. So you want to post exclusive updates about your products, maybe some... Um, you know, interest build up about your company and reach out to potential new customers. You are going to have these posts be visible on your fans news feed, which is the first thing they're going to see when they log into the site. All right. So very, very important to promote your product. You also want to take advantage of building positive relationships. Now, a lot of the benefits of a business page rely on having a large number of fans to communicate with. One method of increasing fan numbers is to provide them with valuable content, get them involved, get high user engagement, offer exclusive vouchers and coupons and product knowledge, and just be very attractive to the end user. Search engine optimization is also very important. You have an opportunity to fill your posts with keywords and with hashtags and you know, backlinks that are related to your field so that you can have your Facebook page be ranked in the search engines. You're going to want to get good feedback. Well, I say good, but good or bad feedback because it really gives you an inside track as to what your customers think of your business and how you're running it. 
large companies spend huge amounts of money surveying their customers, trying to get that feedback. But Facebook allows you to get that customer feedback really easy and really inexpensively. So by viewing your fans' comments and posting to those comments and taking care of any of your reputation management on Facebook is a really good way to get an inside track to helping your business get a better target audience and really filling the needs of your customers. So what results can you expect from your business page? Well, one of the results is that you should be expecting increased sales. There's so many millions of active users on Facebook and they spend you know, more than 50 minutes a day using Facebook. So you should have interaction with them and you should see a growth when it comes to sales. There's huge advertising potential to anyone who is able to take advantage of this social networking platform. By providing fans with direct links about your products, about your services, where they can buy it, that will dramatically increase your sales. Now let's talk about increased online visibility. Business pages can be viewed by anyone, right? We talked about that earlier, and they're often uh, ranked very prominently in the search engine because Facebook is a well-established and trusted website. So by filling your page with search engine optimized content, you have a really good, um, really good way to get your page ranked in the search engines and you'll have more attractive uh, online visibility. Let's talk about growing fan numbers. The average Facebook user has, let's say, around 130 friends. Well, if those users, your fans, are liking your page, those friends are going to get notified that you liked that particular page. It becomes visible on your friend's news feed. How cool is that, right? And that's what we want to do. We want to spread the information about your business. So it's easy to see how a well-managed marketing strategy can quickly result in increasing fan numbers. Let's also talk about gaining a better customer understanding. Although you'll now be able to see the personal information from your fans, you will have access to very important statistics about your fans. You'll get access to their age range, their demographics, their gender, location, and give you real insight into what type of customer is interested in your product or your service. So how do we begin? Well, implementing an effective digital marketing strategy on Facebook can boost your sales. It can widen your customer base. We talked about all the positive relationship building that you can have with your customers. But when setting up a marketing strategy on your own, there's a lot of common mistakes that are made, like bombarding your fans with too much information, too many updates, and just overboard, going overboard with your content. So what you want to consider is hiring a professional to implement this advertising strategy. A professional marketing business can help you implement your strategy, take the necessary steps that you need to help your business grow. Do us a favor. Contact us. Set up an appointment with us. We'd be happy to sit down with you so that we can implement a Facebook strategy that is going to work for your business for the future. Thanks for watching this presentation.